and grow YouTube show. I want to read something that really hit me between the eyes from your book. In the beginning of the book, you say, what we often call self-development is sadly just that, more development of a limited self. When mm -hmm. what the heart is calling for is fewer selfies and more soul. Yeah. I just love that because I think I'm a self-help junkie and I live for, I live for self-development, right? Mm -hmm. um, but you can really get lost in it and you can mm -hmm. really lose your way in being so obsessed with becoming a better version of yourself that you're not even in the present being yourself anymore. Can you speak a little bit to that and the ego and, and that whole kind of chapter of the book? Cause it, it was very interesting. Well, I think the best place to hide if you are striving and feel disconnected is in the personal development space. Yeah. Because here we are and we want to grow and we want to be better people and we want to be connected to nature and plants. And we just, isn't that, aren't we just great just yeah. for being here? <laughs> and then we can take all of those beautiful aspirations of being connected to plant kingdom and each other and leaving the world a better place. But we can actually be coming from this self-punishing place of someone's keeping score. I want to earn, you know, biblically, you would be saying, I want to earn divine favor yeah. or I want, you know, Buddhist would, you know, you would be saying, I want to burn my karma or I just want to be accepted or get the love I never got from my mother, whatever it is. So mm -hmm. all these great, really healthy practices, activities, methodologies that have been around for thousands of years that are proven to better your brain function and health and relationships and everything. But why are you doing it? Mm -hmm. So just, just check, just stop and check. Like, you know, we have something when you, when you subscribe, I think to, um, my blog posts, my website, you get the self-help laundry list, which is why don't you look at everything you're doing from the supplements to the workshops, to how many books to, do you have a coach and a psychotherapist? <laughs> do you have an astrologer and a nutritional guy, you know? is it really moving you forward or is it creating more anxiety? Is it creating more striving? And for me at this point in my life, cause you know, I've had the astrologer and the coach at the same time and, 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 and all the essential oils, simple is better. Simple is way more powerful. And turning inward. And it was so mm -hmm. interesting as I was reading this book, I found you know, you talk a lot and I want to dive into a little bit later, your heart center and accessing your heart center. Mm -hmm. And I was realizing, I'm like, man, a lot of growing joy, like a lot of what I talk about is pairing everything away. For me, the way that I can access that heart center is being with plants, right? But mm. the plants are really the way to like pair it all away so that you can access yourself. And I feel like so much of your book is giving us permission to not have all of those. I think you should have a psycho. I have a psychotherapist. I think you should have one if you need one, obviously, but mm -hmm. not turning to all of these gurus and not turning to all of these, you mm -hmm. know, other things that are supposed to save you and mm -hmm. just to turn into yourself and really honor and ask what you are thinking or, or your purest kind of version. <laughs> Do 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 do